Um, dance time. Adventures of Ryan. Also, I happen to look at the time, and it's midnight. It is. It is. Happy birthday. It is indeed my birthday. No matter no matter when this gets uploaded, it is indeed now my birthday. That's the magic of the internet, is that every day is your birthday. As long as you record it at one time. Yep. Also, I am uh, one step closer to old. These horses are boning. Oh. Now that's, that's a birthday present. There you go. Ta-da. Hey, that reminds me. Do we get a pair of that? No, both females. Lesbian war kangaroos. Oh, well, not actually lesbians. Uh, that, that, is a, that is a sentence that I never thought I'd hear. <laughs> well, that's, that's what RimWorld does to you. It's like just a constant stream of things that you never thought could happen to yourself. Like, for example, I think that's someone hunting a dugong with the German submachine gun. No, just frickin' kill it. What are you doing? Look, don't shoot it for- oh my god. Get up in its face and shoot it good. If you're gonna commit murder, do it right. Oh, should we explain the joke behind Better Douglas? I mean, we could. I mean, it's sort of self explanatory. Um. So in the Savage Worlds campaign, so Savage Worlds is like Dungeons and Dragons, but not necessarily fantasy. Um, it was a tabletop rule set. Yeah. What was the name of the guy? Do you remember the name of the guy that got no, replaced? I no, I don't remember his name. <laughs> um, Yulia died of infection. Oh, I actually kind of liked her. Wow, that was nowhere near... Oh, well. So if I was playing this on my own, would consider going back to... To save her. Reclaim these people, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, uh, how's this guy doing? You know, extreme infection. Oh, he's super gonna die. So take his clothes. Oh, shoot, yeah. Yulia had the... The armor on. That means Vienna is the last prisoner standing. Unless you count Better Douglas Lucario here. Oh, uh, since we theoretically liked this guy, uh, we could do him up properly. See, where do you want to oh, put a grave? I went I went back and looked through my notes and I do not have a note of uh, what that man's name was. Yeah. So the important thing was he was married to a hot chick with psychic powers. Um and yeah. Um, uh, dance time! Uh, anyways, so this dude died, which was kind of our fault. Eh, vaguely. Uh, boring dance party. Um, um, well, I mean, because we maybe, we... It was we could say it was mostly Nate's fault for pissing off the dragon, but then it was also our fault for kind of egging him on to try out the shape shifting. Yeah, true. Um, see, idiots are already eating up all of the grass. There'll be none left for the horses who are still freaking here. 
Okay, right. Um, no, I thought the thing. All right, we're just waiting for that. Consuming Pokemon meat slowly, which means she's got food poisoning from eating raw meat because we're all idiots. <laughs> Actually, wait, did I not make the, the meat cooker? The smoke pit? So you made the smoke pit. I don't know if you assigned anybody to actually use it, though. Yeah. No, but then it would be here. Oh, that... He must have... Yeah, there you go. So now he's buried. Now I can have oh, a funeral He must have destroyed floor. it while he was freaking out and breaking stuff. Yeah, that must have been it. Well, good job, asshole. Now you're in the ground. Now we're going to take dumps on you because A still hasn't built us a... Uh, uh, a toilet. A toilet. Um, right, okay. Do you remember where it was? Oh, fuck, and he killed the table, too. He did break the table. If I remember correctly, it was, like, right beside the table uh, where you have now put a bed. Not that one, the unowned one. That this one. one. Huh. Okay. Um, I could be like, completely wrong. Who knows? So the ideal thing to do would be to put it in its own room, like in one of these. Yeah. There. But we have to get the mining done. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I just got crazy dizzy. I don't know. Woo, I feel like I'm going to fall over and I'm sitting down. God damn it, there's <laughs> another one. It's also a lackluster funeral. So that is a feat in and of it itself. Ah, uh, who's is this idiot? Mining pyromaniac. They're all in pyromaniacs. Every single one of them. I don't get it. They're all so... Yeah. I, so, part of me wants to recruit a pyromaniac so that you can, you know, get a sense of, don't put random idiot people in the graves. Graves are for, only for colonists. Also, who the hell are you? Freddy the Drifter. Toad Nor. Oh, actually, shotgun. Brand the Vet. A drifter? He is a drifter. Some Molotov cocktails. What does he have? Pump shotgun? So these are the kinds of people that we could sacrifice so to blood down there. fight the. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's because they were falling out of the sky. Let's see. A. Well, I mean, I guess we're all still starving. Yeah, let's, let's give it a shot. Uh, don't bring the animals in this time. And, uh, I'm pretty sure this asshole breathes fire. That's a fun animal noise. Do no. you think it makes that... Oh, have you played uh, whatever game it is that those are from? There they go. Monster Hunter World? Yeah. Or maybe multiple or Monster what? Hunters? Yeah, one of the Monster Hunters. Uh, so I've played Monster Hunter World. Okay. I don't, I don't know that I've played any other ones, though. Did you... Hunt a Glavinus with a um, machine gun? What? Not with a machine gun, no. So it reminds me, these ship chunks take. Smooth. Totally yeah, lit I'm yourself a, on fire. I'm a, uh, a glaive user in Monster Hunter World. Hey, we got it. 
Now, when they say glaive, I that that could just be anything in Monster Hunter. Uh, so it's a weapon class. Um, it's insect and glaive. I can't remember what they actually call it. Let's see. I think it's. I think they just call it insect glaive. But basically, it's a like a twin blade. A twin blade. I, yeah, I spend basically I spend most of the time in the air. Okay. Um, and my 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 purpose in like a group of people is to make sure that the monster stays on the ground, and if it's not on the ground, put it back on the ground. That way, people can actually hit it. So like, because they fly, or is this like a juggling thing? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, if they fly, I put them back on the ground, and. Then, if somebody is chaining together some pretty strong attacks and needs them to stay in the air, I can uh, assist with that. I use an insect to pull extracts from the monster, which then buff my abilities. And then I use those buffs to put a shit ton of damage in. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but it all comes down to just being super fast and in the air all the time, which is kind of like my forte with literally every game I've ever played. So, I oh, mean, we should play Cosmic Break sometime. I I forget if I ever showed that to you because it's the kind of game that I'm slightly ashamed to be playing. Mildly ashamed. Well, so it's like if. If I showed you the trailer, like, for Cosmic Break, you'd be like, ooh, don't know about that. But, like, if you actually played it, it's like, oh, it's fine. Why did you, why did you ride the horse for that, you stupid dumbass woman? It was, like, two feet away. Also, get back here and mine the rest of it. Um, deconstruct the ship chunk. Okay, maybe you can do that. Anyways, so fire, right? It burns, it spreads. Yes. It's You can imagine how you would not want somebody deliberately setting fires in inside your house. Accurate. In <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is why we don't keep pyromaniacs. That makes sense. Because eventually, like, even if they're, like, not feeling unhappy, they'll... Just, just light something on fire for no reason. Yeah. Which is wildly uncool. Nope, all this stuff back. Oh, there's no freaking goddamn. <laughs> this is going to be a competition to see which makes me cuss more this game or uh, Guts and Glory. <laughs> um, where are you going? Oh, there's food. There you go. Pick it up so you don't have to walk all the way over. You see, they ride the horses. Okay. I mean, they're at least that smart. Yeah. Well, except that they ride the horses in stupid ways. Um, yeah. So this game is based on um, a... Uh, a similar game called Dwarf Fortress, which I have trouble saying. So it's that's like dwarves as in, as in like Tolkien dwarves. Yes. Um, it's a summit crab. The ground trembles as a massive hoymit crab, living inside a huge boulder, drags itself across the region. The Gargant, when Bold Dermot isn't hostile, but it is almost impervious to gunfire, and it will lay waste to anything in its path if not stopped. So we'll see. It depends on where it's going. It looks like it's not going towards us at the moment. Hey, Bulbasaur. That's going to destroy this squirrel. Nope, past the squirrel. Okay. I think we're safe from that. Um, for, the time, for the time being. Yeah, what was I saying? I 
I know I had something. So this is the problem of us being both inebriated. I have no fucking yeah. idea. Okay. Hopefully it wasn't important yet. Was it about horses? No, it wasn't about horses. Let's see. Yeah. Also, I, I didn't say anything about it, so our Vienna lost a hand uh, in that fight, so... What was her thing? What is she supposed to be good at? Cooking? Plants. I think we got her for shooting, if I remember correctly. That's right. I guess... I don't know if shooting is... impacted by manipulation. I mean, I imagine it is, but depends oh, on what have of agrees with that or not. A non-traditional deal with genial eggplant partners. Oh, and a herbalist named Andrew. See, he's a nudist, which is also unhelpful. Eight and plants. Eight and plants. Ten and medical. Those are both good. I guess we'll keep them. Someone, how about you? They're kind of being useful. Fear's the one. Yeah. Oh, there goes the summit crab. See, allegedly it's trying to get to the other end of the map here. It might swing up and smush him. Nope, didn't smush him. Hooray! Uh, yeah, okay, sorry. A known traditional deal with genial eggplant partners. Actually, there's this one, too. So, 86 gold. If there's gold... Wait, what were the rewards? There might be gold. Reinforced barrels are useful. For the bionic arm and power clock fix uh, what's-her-face. And these things, I don't know. Plasteel can be useful. Alright, let's see if we have the gold actually somewhere on that. So you see these uh, differently colored rocks? Mm hmm. They made uranium ore or slate, so we're looking for. Well, like, that'll be steel. So we're looking for a patch of that that could be gold. And take care of that at the moment. Hey, we got our beer bushes have torn fruit. Oh yeah, beer bushes. Okay, I don't see gold. I haven't seen anything Another. that even remotely looks like gold. Another dugong that we can eat. Okay. Um, so then reward is irrelevant. Wonk. Oh, but he sells gold. Who is our best entertainer? Of course it's Vera. Main character. Oh, she's got food poisoning. Alright, let's wait for the food poisoning to hopefully wear off. Get to recovering. Alright, hopefully recovering is good enough. Don't want to work that down to the wire. Okay. So this is a trader. Not like the trader that we had to deal with earlier. Oh man, it's 700 a pop for the battle kangaroos. Anyways, uh, so as you can see, so we have stuff that we can sell to them for money, and they have stuff that they can that we can buy for money. We have our normally I would just sell the beer bush fruit, but we probably kind of need it to unwind right now. 
heal powder would fix Pesto's tail. Um, oh yeah, monster leather is crazy. Definitely want to sell that. So we have 2,333 gold to work with. Aptanoff leather we might keep for building stuff. Buy more Pokeballs. We buy a Marimba. Um, okay. Should we keep the Battle Kangaroos or trade them for like an Arcanine or Umbreons or something? Uh, yeah. How do you how do you feel about the Combat Kangaroos? I have yet to see them do anything that makes them worth keeping. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying that they're not. That being said, at the end of the day, if they go away, I'm not going to be super upset about it. Yeah. So the reason why is because we need to train them to be able to take them into battle, and we haven't haven't been able to do that yet. They probably eat a shitload. Actually, it says that uh, hunger rate 1.6. Compare that to an Arcanine. Yeah, an Arcanine is 0. 0.48. It's even like pump ball. He's 0.32. Umbreon's. Yeah, 0.48. Is there all the Pokemon going to be the same? I guess they are. Um, yes, so those are... Those are probably going to eat us out of house and home. Man, a thousand each for... These. And we already have pretty good ones. One Arcanine. I like Arcanines. Do you have any attachment to Arcanines? Okay. Let's see. Should we get a guitar? Just a guitar, just randomly. Or a violin, yeah. There'll just be that guy sitting around the campfire that knows like three chords that's, that's trying to play every song. Interesting. So there's an arm. So we can just buy an arm to fix the one chick? Yeah. We should do that. Yeah, and a better Pokeball. I kind of feel like at that price, I don't think it's worth it for the Ultra Ball belt. I get Because like two of those. We'll do five of that. Alright, and then... Let's start building up the stash. That's it for this adventure. Tune in next time for more.